bounds. What is up, guys? It is Canadian Pro 7 3 guys. Now, I'm going to be talking about a lot of stories that have been happening for Black Ops 3, but there's really three main ones um, that have to do with the Black Ops 3. So, let's get on to that. So, basically, um, I think it was last night um, or today. Actually, no, it was today. Sorry, today. Um, very early in the morning, I heard um, Activision um, posted on their website, of the Black Ops 3 website, um, there was campaign gameplay coming soon for it um and all the, i'm getting all the source from charlie intel so i'll link that in the description if you guys want to check it out yourself but there was uh, some campaign trailer and it says um watch the campaign stuff or whatever but it's not posted there yet i'm pretty sure so that's just one little piece of info uh, i thought i could actually put out to you guys but the the one main story i wanted to talk about is that black ops 3 on the pc will be compatible with windows 10 now PC Dev has confirmed this. It says it on their Twitter if you guys want to go check that out. Um, so I'm really excited about that because I actually might be upgrading to Windows 10 because it's not just because of Windows 7. It's just that I feel like Windows 10 is like coming out, so you might as well as upgrade it, right? But um, I don't know if that's gonna if Windows 10 is gonna affect the other games for Steam. But whatever. That's just another story. But we'll see what happens though. Um, also, an uh, ESPN article proves. Um, or provides a uh, like a little first glimpse of the multiplayer um, hood. I don't know if you guys seen that image, but I thought I would bring it out to you guys anyways. Of uh, Marshawn Lynch playing some Black Ops 3 multiplayer, and you can see a little picture of it, but you can't really like see that much of it. Like there's, there's nothing there that you can really see that shows you about the multiplayer. You don't see the like the kill streaks. You you do get to see the the, the mini map, and the mini map looks pretty big. Um, the normal so I guess that's the one new feature of uh, for black ops 3, but you know Whatever, let's just leave it at that and um, also This was a big topic, and I really don't care that much about it honestly um, But I know a lot of people posted videos about this I didn't want to post a video of it, but I might as well as inform you guys anyways, but black ops 3 Unfortunately is coming to the Xbox 360 and PS3 now. I don't really care that it is coming out Treyarch is not develop, uh, developing it. Um, the developers that are going to be developing that version of the game is going to be Beanox and Mercenary Technology. Technology. Sorry, I said that wrong. <laughs> it's like technology. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah, so it's going to be coming out on the same day as uh, all the other consoles for like PS4, Xbox One, PC. It's going to all come out at the same time for the PS3 and Xbox. But, you know, we still don't know which uh, person gets the DLC first, but that's just another topic. Um, but that's really it though, so, you know, like, it's it's awesome that we actually get to play Black Ops 3 on the PC on Windows 10, so that's awesome, that's one really good thing about that, and also, I think Xbox 360 and PS3, apparently there's like a, a leak going around, I think uh, Activision Assist, actually it's not a leak, Activision Assist, um, I think wrote this on their Twitter, I think. I don't know exactly the full story, but they posted a, a thing about DLC offering and saying that it wouldn't come out or they wouldn't get it early or something like that. I don't know. You guys are going to have to go investigate that on Charlie Intel's website and just go check it out. But the one, this is the second part of the main story here is that Black Ops 3 will be featured on IGN's live stream, E3 live stream, on June 16th at 2, 2, or 2 20 p.m. PDS, or, man, I can't even talk, PDT, this sounds weird, that's why, um, so there's gonna be obviously different times, um, I don't know all the times for, like, the different time zones, but, uh, all I know is that, uh, 2 20 p.m. PDT, will be uh, the live the start of the live stream and if you're in Eastern Standard Time like me um, the live stream is gonna start on 5 20 p.m. E uh, Eastern Standard Time which is awesome because that's actually a really perfect time and now if I go check on my calendar while I'm recording this that is next Tuesday and I don't have exams on that so that's that's perfect too but I do have to study for exams but it's perfect because I can come home on Tuesday while I got stuff to do still but you know for school but then just preparing for exams so apparently the black ops story will be at 2 20 which will be 5 30 or 5 20 p.m eastern standard time so i don't know what the other time zones are like um like uh what is it like uh uk time and 
Um, Central Time. I think Central Time is four, four twenty. I think that's what I think it is. It's a, I think an hour behind from Eastern Standard Time. So I think that's the the time. So five twenty p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be like my time as of now. Um, Central Time will be four twenty. I'm pretty sure, and then Pacific. Uh, Time or whatever will be 2:20 is when the live stream starts for uh, Black Ops 3 on uh, IGN's E3 live stream. So if you guys are watching that, that's awesome. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> if you guys haven't noticed, I actually didn't make one cut in this video, so that's why I kind of messed up a lot. But I just wanted to bring you guys somewhat a lot of news, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Um, there's really nothing else I could really talk about except like that is that young and reckless zombies t-shirt whatever I don't like really care about that I didn't really want to provide them the, in the video but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like and a comment on what you guys think about this whole thing like campaign that I talked about like co-op campaign gameplay um, on their website they kind of talked about it but I don't think they posted the gameplay um, the times for e3 um pc windows 10 you can play it on which is awesome and then last gen dlc support so that's all i got for you guys today and like i said leave a like if you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys on the next video bye